Hey guys, my name is Markayla. If you're new and if you're returning, welcome back. So today I have a wig install and this is going to be really quick because it literally took me like 15 minutes to do it. So it's probably going to take me seven minutes in this video um, to get everything together. But before I jump straight into it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit your notification bell so you can get notified when I post more videos. Um, and follow me on my social medias. The link to this hair will be linked down below in the description box. Let's get it. So right now, I'm just taking the double lace off of the wig because this entire wig is double lace. I'm only going to do the front part because that's the most important part and I was too lazy to do the entire wig, but I eventually did do the entire wig, so, but I didn't take the lace off of some areas and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about um, once you see that clip. This is what I was talking about. You see those tan lines down the middle and the sides of the wig. I took majority of the lace off, but I left that there because I'm lazy. And the most important part is at the hairline where the baby hair is. So if you do that, you will be good to go. So now I'm gonna put the hair into ponytails. That way it's more controlled when I try to cut off the ear tabs. And the ear tabs used to be very tricky for me, but I feel like as you do it more, you kind of get a sense of where it should land. Like for example, I go along the sides of my ear in a curved motion like my ear is. That way I know I'm not taking off too much. And with a braided wig, it's really easy to see because you're like, oh, I just took off two braids, that's it. It's, it's very controllable. But when you're doing it with like regular loose hair, it is kind of tricky, so I'll give you that. And there's a couple of t uh, tricks and tips that I do do to help me not cut off most of the hair. So after I get those ear tabs off, I'm gonna go ahead and comb the baby hair back so that I could go ahead and spray my hairline about two times, like, Spray it once, let it get tacky, and spray it another time, let it get tacky, put the wig on right. So as you guys can see on my hairline, I have those pink dots or those pink circles, which is my psoriasis, or it's called seborrheic, um, I, I don't know what it's called. I haven't been to the dermatologist and I really know I should, but that's another story. Um, but I've been dealing with this for a long time and if you can tell, it has traveled down to my, um, my lower cheek, I don't know, close to my jawline it is just very annoying because it's like this never seems to go away i just developed it out of nowhere which is really weird you know what i mean um but if you guys have this or have any tips or tricks for anything that's similar to this put them down in the comments i will be i will try anything i've tried most of everything but not everything so i would be open to suggestions and you know what, I really didn't even want to post this video low-key because the quality, like the lighting quality was doing something weird. It would go in and out. I don't know why, but that's what it did. So um, I do apologize for the off, the off lighting, but hey, it is what it is. I wanted to get a video out to you guys, so here it is. But anyways, this is me pulling the wig down on the sticky part of the spray. I just want to make sure that I have the middle part in the middle of my forehead. I want to make sure that I have my ear tabs where they're supposed to be. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to comb and press the wig into my skin just to make sure it melts better. After pressing that in, I'm gonna go back with the spray and spray my hairline again because some of the lace did not lay down and did not stick to my forehead like it should have the first time. So that's what I'm gonna go, um, that's what I'm gonna do again. And then I'm gonna take my handy dandy purple bleach headband and go ahead and um, tie my hairline down again. Sorry you keep hearing that beep, that's me at work trying to multitask. And you want to keep this band on your head for about 20 minutes. If you can do it longer, that's great. But the minimum is 20 minutes. I would, that's what I would recommend. So this is me taking the band off. And I'm going to push the baby hairs up so that when I'm trying to cut the hairline, I'm not cutting extra baby hair off. 
and I'm gonna cut as close to the baby hair as I possibly can without cutting off um, excess baby hair, right? I got so caught up in the steps, I'm forgetting to tell you guys about the wig. So this is a 12 inch spring twist wig from sangtalk.com. They reached out to me on TikTok. So if you're not following me on there, go ahead and follow me. They asked me to pick out a wig. This is the one I chose because I like the picture on display, which I will put on the screen and I'll put the link down below. So yeah, go ahead and check them out and tell them that um, Markayla B sent you, period. Okay, I'm not sure why, but a part of this video got deleted, but I just went ahead and sprayed the hairline one more again, tied it down just for that extra security and that extra melt, just to make sure this wig does not fall off when I'm doing normal tasks, you know, um, and to make sure all of the sides were down, but that's what I am taking the band off right now for. And to me, this seemed a little crooked, but don't worry about that. We're going to finesse it. Don't worry. You can see me in the mirror like, hold on, I know I'm not tripping. And I tried to pull it back like, girl. <laughs> okay, so this is me brushing down the baby hair because they did get stuck on the spray because it was sprayed down with the lace. So this is me just separating the lace and the baby hair. I'm going to try to attempt to do it as always. I already told you I'm not very good at baby hair, so don't come for me in the comments because I told you. I... Okay, while I'm showing you guys what hairstyles you could possibly do with this wig, I just want to take the time and say like thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel i really really appreciate you guys i know i say it all the time but i honestly really do appreciate you guys i'm going to do a q a at a thousand subscribers so which i'm not too far from and <laughs> but if you haven't already go ahead and like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you can get notified when i post more videos period you know what i'm saying and don't forget to um follow me on my social medias they will be linked down below it's the same at name on every platform literally but thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you liked it because i enjoyed making the video and i love you guys very much i'll see you on my next video so be safe out there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.